Epic failure. Failure. <laughs> we survived. <laughs> we did. <laughs> a little scary for a moment there. I know it sounds kind of dumb, a turkey, but wow. Get out and look. Get out and look. All right. I'm glad we didn't hit that little guy. He's frozen there. I think he thinks I can't see him. <laughs> So this is our 60 gallon aqua tank two. And it, as it says, holds 60 gallons. I'm trying to see on here if it's got a, a date. We bought this in April of 2020. Haven't needed it since we bought it. Still in the package. Because <laughs> <laughs> we are very water conscious and uh, we just haven't needed it yet. And then we go to a campground that has water and we need it. So <laughs> go figure. So can you believe it? 60 gallons fits into this. Let's open it up and see. Oh, okay. So it has some hose fittings. So I'm guessing the one on top is a fill and the one on the bottom. It's the drain. Fill in a drain. I thought it'd be bigger. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm looking at it thinking that does not look like 60 gallons, but maybe it expands. Hopefully. Oh, and this is kind of nice. This extra valve has a shutoff. So that's nice. Oh, wait a minute. Show that to me. See? With the shutoff. Oh, yeah. I need a hose to fill it. Get the hose. Filter need the short hose 25 feet and a 50 foot so let's see I'm just concerned about siphoning water through this let's go try and that's as far as the water spigot is now, if it was me, I would probably try to string the hose that far before fiddling with this, but it's Norm, so I'm just going to stand back and watch. All right, so we've got the hose connected to the hydrant, and we just need to hook it on to here. All right, still doesn't <laughs> look like 60 gallons. <laughs> there it goes. We got water going in. Yeah, I guess we make, better make sure that end's closed so yes. we don't get water going out. <laughs> yes. That end is closed. <laughs> make sure the bladder is nice and flat. Let's time it. Let's see how long it takes it to fill up. Okay. Okay. All right, time to shut it off. Just about seven minutes. I guess that depends on the water flow from the hydrant, but not bad. That's and we're not sure totally if it's 100% full, but it's better to underfill than overfill, right? Yes. And let's see if we can do this. Where's that cap? Without water. I don't know. I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> the water is probably going to shoot out. So far, so good. So far, so good. Awesome. Let's drive back over to the campsite. I guess I want my hose. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good keep, it's a good thing to keep track of your hose, hon. I might be eating my words. So far, so good. 
that was pretty snazzy. Here he comes. Oh, and we learned that a mere 60 gallons of water equals 500 pounds of weight. That's a lot. I figured you wanted to get as close as possible. I do. I stopped you in plenty of time. I was nervous. I could tell. You, right. don't, you don't trust me? Get over here. How long have I been t telling you to back up? You don't trust me? No, I didn't trust her because she said she would watch me. And then the next thing I saw that she would had the, the camera in her face, not looking at me at all. So. Oh, stop. <laughs> Try this to start. I'm not confident. <laughs> Ah, That's, now I know what this is for. <laughs> I, I was, every now and then I should speak up. <laughs> huh, this is going to be a problem. I should have put this on with the stopper. Because now as soon as I take this off, water's going to come out. Uh, <laughs> dang. See how bad this is. If I can get it up high enough, it might not. Aha, look at that. Okay, that's how you do it to begin with. Put that on. <laughs> All right, now, now I want to make sure my Nautilus system is set to intake water. So, we want a power fill, I think. Oh no, we want to winterize, siphon. I think that's it. Well, you want me to push on it? I heard the uh, I heard the pump turn on. Yeah, I think it turned off. Sanitize down. Oh, I got it wrong. Okay, now let's try it. Okay, it's pump pumping. I don't feel any water. I'm not feeling any water go through. All right, let's try this. Feels like the hose is collapsing. This kind of hose maybe isn't the best. He's looking in here. We really need a, a short four, five, six foot maybe. Standard hose. See if I can get water to go through at all. Oh, okay. It's coming through. Not very fast, but it's coming through. Well, let's try again. And if this doesn't work, then what we're going to have to do in the middle of the night, we're going to have to hook up the trailer and go over to one of the hydrants and fill up so no, none of the neighbors see us. <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> Can you hear it trying? You want me to go lay on it? Oh, I don't want to puncture it, though. I think it might be doing it. I think it might be doing very slowly. Oh, you can't tell. Mm -hmm. See, I don't, I don't think these collapsible hoses are the best thing to have for this. I need a real hose and a short one. I need to make one, but I have to buy one and then make it. Because you can't, I don't think you can buy like a six foot hose. All right, I think we're a failure on that effort. So now we're gonna try to see if our hose will reach. And I don't think it will, but I think we might be close and maybe We'll have a, a neighbor come help us with a <laughs> lend a hose out. Hey, hey, look at this. Look at what Kim did. Yay. Now, Norm needs to... I got to hook up the water filter. Yes. And then, then we're golden. And you need to uh, look at what I recorded a little earlier. Now, if it was me, I would probably try to string the hose that far before fiddling with this, but it's Norm, so I'm just gonna stand back and watch. <laughs> we're feeding our frog friend, <laughs> giving him some water. Yes, we're giving him some water. <laughs> First time using the bladder, epic failure. Failure. <laughs> <laughs> totally on our part, not the bladder's part. No. Nope. We didn't have the right hose. We did not. And actually, uh, failure number one was we should have stopped to fill up the, the tank when we passed the, the water hydrant on our way in. Failure number two. 
I should have listened to my wife. And <laughs> lesson to you guys out there, listen to your wife. Should have tried the, the hose to see if it would fit instead of just pacing it off and saying, nope, now it's it just, just a little too short. <laughs> I'm like, I won't be embarrassed. I'll go over and see if it's long enough. It's long enough. Now we don't have to hook up in the middle of the night. No. We get to sleep and we don't have to do that. <laughs> so we did uh, get the bladder out and we learned that you're actually, you're supposed to put some uh, five gallons in and a few drops of bleach to clean it before you use it. So we really didn't fail. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking. He's we didn't have any bleach. We didn't clean it. He's looking to come out <laughs> on top of this. Can you tell? <laughs> looking for any anything that can save face. <laughs> oh dear. All right, one thing I'm going to do inside here is um, ask Siri where the nearest hospital is and what county we're in and fill out our little emergency form on the front of our, on our magnet board. I have a little bit of a bellyache today. I'm sure it's not another kidney stone, but I'm a little, I don't know, I'm a little glitchy about that. So I'm going to do my due diligence and make sure we know um, where everything is and what we need to do. No kidney stone, but it's still, we should do this at every new place. See if Siri knows anything. Hey Siri, where's the nearest emergency room? No. No. Thank you. And so the nearest emergency service is 19 miles away. And cool, I asked Siri where the nearest emergency services were, or the nearest ER, and she asked if she could call it for me. So that's kind of cool. So now let's see if she knows what county we're in. Hey Siri, what county is left trail race campground in? Okay, so she gave me some options. I'll have to check it out and see which uh, which campground we're in or which county we're in. So getting closer at doing the things that we really should do. All right, it's it's not pretty, but I filled it all out on our board. It's got the campground, our site, um, the GPS coordinates, also what county we're in and where the nearest ER is with that telephone number and also our emergency contact information. So, good to go. I was changing the bedding and oh, there's a mouse, a live one, underneath the couch. So Norm, Norm's helping me, I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mouse duty. You see him? No. I'm sure he's skedaddled somewhere. You guys have any mouse, mouse help? Mouse excavation? Whoa! Mouse excavation. <laughs> <laughs> mouse eradication, not mouse excavation. <laughs> what is she thinking? I'm digging down deep and getting rid of the mouse. I, she's, I think she's <laughs> traumatized a bit. <laughs> I do okay with snakes, not spiders, and not mice. And we have all this cool grand design swag that we like to give out to um, our grand design peeps. And uh, we don't want the mouse to be eating that. All right, this will be continued later. Bah! That was a close call. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Attack turkey. That that lady was after us for sure. Yes. We didn't get it all on camera, but she has babies with her, and she has no interest in letting us go by this trail. No, nope. she's got lots of babies with her, and we had to back up real, real fast. fast. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just kind of holding down the fort up ahead, not wanting us to. She is not, not letting us, us pass. To go by. <laughs> All right, so what's the plan? You want to go around on these tracks or? Let's try. Okay, well, you get your running feet on just in case. Yeah. Hey, she seems to be letting us by. We survived. <laughs> we did. <laughs> a little scary for a moment there. I know it sounds kind of dumb, a turkey, but wow. My name is Nick DeTori. My name is Corey Polson. I'm, I'm a, a turkey, turkey attack, attack survivor, and, and this, this is, is my story. story. We need to get packing the car. 
is packing the car. They're smarter than uh, most people give them credit for. It wants in here really bad. It's making weird noises. Oh, get out of here! Oh my gosh! She was a big turkey and very aggressive. Very aggressive, yeah. She was after us. She was not letting us go by that spot, that's for sure. So we did a little detour. Yeah, and some quick backtrack. <laughs> Morning walk. <laughs> They were down a little bit, so it's always good to check the tire pressure before you have a travel day. And these weren't down very much, but about four or five pounds, so we're adding air. What are you using? This is our Viair air compressor. It's awesome. It is uh, is portable and just plugs into the battery and has a really long hose on it. So we have air everywhere we go. Little air compressor. Awesome. We'll put a link in the description below to this. You can get it on Amazon. These are not cheap. You can buy cheap air compressors, and that's what you get a cheap air compressor. This is a really good air compressor, and I highly recommend it. Great. Let's get going. <laughs> This we're is back. the part. This is the part I know you've been waiting for. <laughs> and we're we're looking at my phone to make sure that we don't miss anything. We don't want to muff this up. <laughs> we've got to tell you exactly how how to enter to win either the Reese Goose Box hitch or the water bottles. So how do they do that? First thing you need to do is go to our website mountainbeaches.com/reese, and you can enter on the website there. On the website, you'll enter your email address. There's a form. There's yeah. a form there. Your yeah. name, email address, telephone number. Yep. And what, uh, if you have a hitch, or not a hitch. <laughs> if, you if you have, have a, fifth a fifth wheel. wheel and then. Why you want to win. Why you want to win and make a model of your of your fifth wheel as well. In right. The, in the comments section. So that's that's a requirement. You have to do that. Right. Now, if you want to have an opportunity to have your name entered two more times, you'll go, we'll put a- Hey, two more times. That gives a total of three <laughs> opportunities to win. You'll go to our Instagram page. Uh, you can go to Mountain Beaches or Reese or Re both. Reese Products. Yep. And you're going to enter in that portion um, why you want to win a Reese. So you go to those Instagram pages, Mountain Beaches or Reese Products, and you um, follow it. Right. And then you leave a comment, and in the comment you need to say why you want to win and your make and model of the fifth wheel that you currently have. Right. And then we will enter that into the... Uh, the big, the big drawing formula calculation <laughs> randomness for the yes. selecting of the and winners. We promise it is it will be a random drawing. Right. So you have to do all of that by October 9th. That's when the drawing ends. So what about those people that don't have a fifth wheel? You can still enter, but just you'll just put in I don't have a fifth wheel, but I want to win a water bottle. Right. So. so if you don't have a fifth wheel, you're not eligible to win the hitch but you are eligible to win one of these awesome water bottles. Right. So what else? So this um, drying, in, it ends on October 9th, by midnight, October 9th, and we will contact the um, winners via email, and we will also announce the winners on the 16th when we release that video. Right, so we'll, uh, we'll announce all the winners, we'll let you know, um, but we're gonna pick 
And I hope it's you. <laughs> and you I, I hope it's you. And you hope it's you. <laughs> I've been I've been told it's not polite to point, but I do I hope it's you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So if you have any questions at all, you can send us, you know, you can send me a DM or personal message me. You can send us a question on our website, uh, on the contact us page, but it, it will really be pretty easy. But absolutely. The contest entry closes on October 9th, 9th. at midnight Eastern, Eastern time. time. Yep. Anything that comes in after that, you will not get entered. So, what do you think of that? Those are the rules. Those are the rules. Good luck. Hope you win. Back to the video. He's keeping us safe. We have a checklist that we use, um, and this is one of the things I always ask him, that, do we need to check the tires? And typically, anytime we spend overnight, at least for a day or two, then we always check the tires before we move to our next location. You know, it's just one of those things you gotta do while you're traveling. On your own? I have it. Uh oh. <laughs>